Have you ever wondered how hot the planet will be in 2100? And what would the world look like then? Well, you're not the only one. Many scientists have asked these questions before you. To find out the answer, they have developed several tools, including the SSP. But what exactly is an SSP? SSP stands for Shared Socioeconomic Pathways. They are global socioeconomic development scenarios projected to 2100. Based on these scenarios, it is possible to determine the associated global warming. You could describe SSPs as plausible major global developments that together would lead in the future to different challenges for mitigation and adaptation to climate change, or more simply, as scenarios or stories in the future. Five scenarios have been developed. Each one of them is characterized by the challenges that would take place in the society described by its socioeconomic development. There are two types of challenges, mitigation and adaptation. Mitigation refers to actions to reduce or prevent greenhouse gas emissions. Adaptation refers to the process of adjusting to actual or expected climate and its effects. It's a bit like prevention and cure. Depending on the choices made, each scenario will present a high or a low level of challenges for mitigation and adaptation. The scenarios on the left of the graph have fewer adaptation challenges than the scenarios on the right, whereas the scenarios at the bottom have fewer mitigation challenges than the scenarios at the top. The scenario with the most challenges is SSP3. By contrast, the scenario with the fewest challenges is SSP1. Each one of these scenarios is developed to describe its future. It's a storyline. Also, they are each given a name that is more descriptive than the number. SSP1 or taking the green road, has low challenges to mitigation and adaptation in 2100. It is based on sustainability. GDP is no longer the focus of development and is replaced by the pursuit of well-being. SSP2, or middle of the road, has medium challenges to mitigation and adaptation. Societies are moving towards a model that respects the planet, but too slowly, so that some countries are doing better than others. SSP3, or Rocky Road has high challenges to mitigation and adaptation. It is based on regional rivalry. Policies focus on security, energy, and food security without considering the needs of other regions of the world. Material consumption, inequality, and environmental degradation persist or worsen. SSP4, or a road divided, is based on inequality. In this scenario, the mitigation challenges are low thanks to the development of new technologies, but the adaptation challenges are high because this development is occurring at the expense of an improvement in inequalities. SSP5, or taking the highway, is based on fossil fuel development. In this scenario, there are high challenges to mitigation and low challenges to adaptation. Energy consumption linked to fossil fuels is increasing, which allows for innovation and progress. Lifestyles are energy intensive, Many solutions are being developed to manage social and environmental problems. The storyline can also be used to calculate global warming in 2100. This is an increase in global temperature compared with the pre-industrial level between 1750 and 1850. Here are the expected results for each scenario. Now remember that we must try to limit this warming as much as possible. The SSPs show us that this limitation is consistent with the pursuit of well-being because SSP1 is the scenario that limits the rise in temperature and improves our well-being. It is also the scenario that is consistent with sustainable development goals.